<laughs> I really hope this works. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, Forrest Gump. Driver said the same. He got the station master to say yes immediately. The negotiations were short indeed. Indeed he do. But I must hurry. My passengers will be breaking things even if I'm a millisecond late. So long, partner, said Oliver bravely, but he felt dreadfully nervous inside. Oliver marshaled the worst cars two by two. That's the way, Mr. Oliver. If you leave that scruffy till last, then you'll have him behind you. You can go fuck him and break him if he starts his nonsense. That's fucking right, said Oliver confidently. Good luck, Oliver. Rip his dick off! Rip his dick off! Whispered Scruffy. And pass the word to the others. The stupid cars giggled. <laughs> but Oliver knew what to do. There was plenty of sand on the rails, and his wheels gripped sexily. He gave a great thrust. Ooh, shit! I don't like this! Rip him apart! Yelled Duck. Dismantle his oppressive establishment! Board by board! <laughs> Ow! Screeched Scruffy. Stop! I'm breaking apart! <laughs> <laughs> and he did. Then the fat ass came to the scene. Well, Oliver, so you don't know your own strength. But now that it's not No Nut November anymore, I kind of lost it in my pants right there. No, sir, said Oliver nervously. Don't believe me? Get a load of this! <laughs> Sir Topham Hat inspected Scruffy. As I thought, rotten wood, rotten dick. Maybe if we put you back together, you will earn yourself a rusty pussy. Nowadays... Oliver only takes the cars when the other engines were busy, but they're always quick to warn each other. Take care with Mr. Oliver. If you play any tricks on him, you'll never be the same car again. Scruffy was scarred for life, and he always complains about his rusty pussy.